Hi, so I've put this video together to help explain what I'd like to be done. So currently I have the website simplyfmcg.co.uk as you can see here, simplyfmcg.co.uk and what I'd like to be done is for this site to be refreshed and I've put together my ideas for what the, uh, the new site should look like. So this is the home page. Um, what you'll find on each of the slides I'm going to take you through are some links to where I've basically uh, been inspired to get some of the creativity for um, for this site. So I guess a few key things here. So um, the website is designed for food and drink entrepreneurs. I'd like a simple logo to be put together, um, effectively just being in um, being a copy logo without any. Um, images, but I'd like something, I guess, which is a little bit different to the standard um, Calibri heading. Um, so first thing is a really nice, plain, simple uh, logo for Simply. Um, on the main uh, home page here, on the right-hand side, you've got the different pages. Um, I quite like this line here, which is uh, it's got a little bit of shadow, and that has been taken from... Um, LukeW.com. I just really like this nice, plain, and simple design. And actually, you can see um, where I've got some inspiration from for the uh, for my website. Um, other thing is that I would like these to be these buttons here to be active. So if someone clicks or hovers over them, we get a similar effect to what you have on Seth Godin's SethGodin.com. So, for example, if I hover, I get the, um, the 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 writing basically while well, the background on the writing lights up um, so I'd like a similar thing for my home page and again I don't want all of these to be red they should be different colors but what I'd like you to do is obviously sort of lead this in terms of the design and what colors are going to look good together um, for each of the pages I'll be very short um, sort of overview and obviously if someone clicks into the title or clicks into anywhere sort of here or here they'd then be taken through to the page I guess the only exception is with the blog so I'd like the top three blog posts to be displayed here under the latest blog posts um, and with a podcast I'd like this link to work so I'm not sure if this is the best image to use but basically I'd like to have a link here where someone can subscribe to the iTunes podcast um, the other thing, if, if there's not enough room on the home page, I'd like this part here to be all static, but then if this list needs to be a bit longer, then this part to be able to sort of scroll up and down, because there isn't much content on this side here. I don't think we need to have, um, uh, this should really be all above the fold. Everything here should be above the fold, but here it can go up and down around the fold. On this side, um, I'll come on to this in the next page, but each of these boxes will be a link to one of the pages for my services. Um, and then I'd like a, an email button. Um, so if someone presses that, they have an email, uh, they can instantly email me, me at hello at simply dot, uh, simplyfmcg.co.uk. Um, this button will be for the phone. What I suggest here is a link through to the contact page. I'd uh, like an RAS feed. And then if people want to like uh, the business, add to circles or follow, and it's follow at simply FMCG. On the bottom here, it's obviously going to be copyright 2013. Um, simply FMCG, sorry, this will just be a link back to the simply FMCG.co.uk uh, homepage. All rights reserved, a privacy policy, which will be linked to a page. And then something a little bit different, I'd like to have another link here which says don't click here and there's a page I'll, I'll take you through shortly. Um, yeah, as I said, so on each of the pages you've got the, uh, the links to the websites which I've sort of taken a bit of inspiration from. On the next slide, focusing on this part here and basically you can see this on Seth Godin's blog. Um, so on sethgodin.co.uk. So what he's got here is if you highlight any of those, some text appears and it kind of grays out at the bottom. I really like that. So I'd like something 
similar, uh, obviously different images. And then when you click, you get information here still from the home page. So with that in mind, um, I've put my titles for each of the services which I offer, which is which are training, consulting, workshops, and systems. Um, obviously, they'll they'll need to appear down here, um, and then ideally sort of blacked out in a similar way when you highlight highlight the uh, each of the icons. I'd also like you to put together a um, a small design for each of the icons to sort of represent what I'm doing. So training, consulting, workshops, and systems. So if you could put together an icon um, like we've got here on, on sethgodin.com. And the next page. So when, for example, the let's say this button was clicked on uh, and I'd like a pop-up box, what I'm going to have in that pop-up box is some copy here and then contact information on the right-hand side. Um, again, you know, really down to you in terms of what the design needs to look like. Um, but I'd like people to be able to look at all the services, the four services which I offer from the home page. So obviously we're going to have a different one for the um, uh, training, consulting, workshops and systems. Then we get on to the main, sort of, each of the main pages. So what I would like to have on each of the pages are on the top we have each of the uh, each of the page titles and then when we actually get to a specific page so this is the about one let's just have that one this uh, as continuously highlighted so here it'll be about and so that would still be in the color whatever the about sections section is um, the copy here comes directly from simplyfmcg.co.uk forward slash about us um, so I'd like that copy just used over there and on the right hand side here, this is taken from Seth Godin's blog, which I will show you if you go to his blog. So I really like what Seth is doing here. So it makes it very easy for people to sign up via email to his updates. Um, so I'd like a similar thing. So I'd be able to um, have people opting in. I've got a... Um, well, I did have an Aweber account. I may be moving across, but I'll basically provide the uh, the links um, for the uh, subscription. Um, I'd like the ability to effectively basically do all these things here. So being able to share, um, being able to share on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, tweet, or email, um, and then it'd be great again to have subscription and to bookmark uh, Facebook and Twitter links. The difference with my site is I'd also like to have the iTunes um, sign in here so if people want to uh, follow me from iTunes from other pages they can do so. And at the bottom, just like Seth has got here, is the highlight of some recent posts. The other thing I really like that Seth has got, which I would like to have on my website, is at the very bottom it's very easy for people to tweet, for, to G+, to share with LinkedIn and to like. Um, so effectively, I'd like the same functionality as what Seth Godin has got here. I'm not sure if uh, this feed blitz is what's basically doing all of this, but if that's the case, I'm happy to uh, to use feed blitz again. Sort of, I'm happy to take your um, your lead. Um, and at the bottom of each page, I would like effectively this information here. So again, it's very easy for people to email, call, RSS feed, like the uh, like the, the site, add to Google circles, or follow at simply FMCG. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, same the copyright, um, a link back to the homepage, all rights reserved, privacy policy, and then don't click here. Next page is. What's going on there? Uh, okay, yeah, next page is the subscribe, I think. No. Oh. So, about, then the next one down is subscribe. And obviously, as this is a subscription page, there's no need to have all the content on this side. 
Um, what I've done here is, again, what I really like is what Seth has done on his, um, let's go to his website, is subscribe for free. Again, I like this put together in um, WordPress, but um, this is a really nice, simple way. I like the, the idea of having the RS feed feed uh, the RS feeder here, um, potentially using the same links as Seth. This go, this goes to Wikipedia. Um, if you subscribe, this goes through a subscription service for uh, RSS feeds. So I think based that page essentially on what Seth Godin has done. Um, so that's the subscription, and again, having all the information at the bottom down here, which we should have on each and every page as a sort of a template. Um, then the blog, we've looked at the blog already. Basically, I really like the way that Seth has put his together, and I think he does quite well, so um, it'd be great if we could effectively use uh, what Seth has done. Um, again, obviously with a bit of your design tweak. Um, I've already got a blog at simplyfmc.co.uk. Uh, forward slash blog so there are some blog posts there which we can already populate this with and let's go there and then the podcast podcast here it is um, so for the podcast um, just a bit of an introductory paragraph here which I'll be able to I'd like to be able to change that copy um, oh yeah the other thing obviously being in WordPress, I would like to be able to change pretty much all the copy quite easily. Um, one uh, website I really like for podcasts is this one, which is ilovemarketing.com. Um, and I really like this, this sort of functionality where they've got the G+. Um, you can actually listen to the podcast on your laptop. There we go. Um, you can download the MP3. Um, I would like a download as well for um, PDFs. So I'm going to have a PDF. Um, and then the ability to have comments and a short URL for, for sharing. Uh, but these guys have done it really nicely. I think it's really, really clean. Um, and obviously you can sign up as well with these guys on iTunes. Um, because we've got our iTunes button there anyway. Um, but I think that's a really nice way of displaying the podcast page. You can actually see here I've gone back to some earlier uh, episodes of um, I Love Marketing, episode 78. You can actually see where you can download the PDF. I will be providing that functionality. So again, I'd like you to show me how the, well, the best way to do that will what the best way to do that will be. Uh, free stuff is reasonably easy. Um, so it's just a, a similar sort of uh, page design. I've already got free stuff at simplyfmcg.co.uk free stuff just down there and then um, for blah which is the testimonials just like to have a short paragraph at the, the top and then I've already got some videos and some copy um, at simplyfmcg.co.uk forward slash testimonials and then finally, um, the contact page. Um, I quite like what Seth, again, has done. Um, if you go to the contact page. Quite like this idea. Um, obviously, please don't copy it, but if there's anything we could do sort of on the back of a postcard that looks quite interesting, uh, rather than just having sort of a boring uh, contact page, that would be great. This is the information which I'd like to be, to be displayed. Um, obviously, that link needs to be live. Uh, that's our contact number. And what else have we got? Um, and then finally, on the don't click link, so remember we had a don't click here, so this link needs to be live. Um, I've put a page together which has just kind of got accumulation of some interesting stuff which I like at simply fmcg.co.uk forward slash don't dash click dash here. Uh, here's a summary of the websites which I've taken you through. Uh, actually, one, I, one thing I haven't shown you in a bit more sort of detail is Melbourne SEO. Um, I, I guess what I've shown you so far is sort of their privacy policy, which is fine. Um, I just like this website. I think it's quite a, 
a uh, well put together site, uh, content site. Uh, but really, it's sort of the stuff down here, which I guess I'm, I'm more interested in. But I like all this sort of thing where you tweet, like, and G, um, which I've got on on the um, on here, obviously, like uh, G, and follow. So, those are the websites. Uh, just sort of a summary of a few other things which I need. So as I said at the very start, for the four different services which I, which I provide, I'm going to need an icon for each of those. I would like an iTunes podcast cover um, to make sure that my uh, podcast can be easily recognised. Um, I think that will sim effectively just be the, uh, the logo. Uh, like I said at the start, I'd like that logo to be designed. It just needs to be very, very simple text, uh, but some interesting text, I guess. Um, I'd also like uh, the Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Google Plus background. So if you go to, I don't know, somewhere like, um, um, let's have a think. Actually, let's, let's just check what I've got at the moment. So on all these social media sites now, you've got an option that you can actually upload um, some background. Uh, why is that not working? Internet's been very slow today. It's falling asleep. Um, so yeah, so I'd like the background created for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Google Plus. Um, see what? Yeah, so at the moment I don't have anything. But if you go to someone like Seth, where was his? Let's see if this works. Uh, no, that doesn't want to work. Um, let's see what. Um, let's see what the gross has got. No. <laughs> um, hold on. Let's, uh, so this example here is relish. And as you can see, they have quite an interesting background. So I would like um, something to be designed. Um, I guess it would be quite simple, um, but I will take your lead on that. And what else? Um, a couple other things. So please let me know if you think I need to have a cookies pop-up. On lots of websites nowadays, you have that um, slightly annoying pop-up that says that the site uses cookies and asks you for permission for that to happen. Some sites have that, some don't, so please let me know what you think. Um, I also sort of make sure that the RS feed is set up correctly once the website goes live again. And then finally, the uh, make sure that the podcasts work uh, all correctly. So that, that's, that's my website. Please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me know if you'd like to Skype or speak to me directly. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.